Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, Boomer and I are out on a hot tent adventure on a bright sunny day. However, it is still quite cold out. We're pushing about four degrees Celsius right now and it's gonna get cold later on this evening. So as you guys can see, we've got the tent set up, the wood stove, the sleeping bag, everything ready to go. The one thing we do need is firewood. Luckily, we've nestled in this pine spruce forest where there is not only loads of duff all over the ground of all these pine branches and spruce branches that have broken off from the high winds, but we also have a lot of downfall trees that we can process for firewood. We are near the ocean, but we're in a small little woodland, so you can hear the waves crashing in the distance, and we're protected from most of the wind. So, with everything taken care of as far as camp set up, it is time to start on a hot drink, which means we need to light a small fire inside of the stove. So let's get that rocking and start on a coffee.
All right, guys, I've got my hot cup of coffee on the go right now, just ducking inside of the tent to get out of the bright sunlight. And I have to say, right now, the temperature inside is absolutely perfect. Now, obviously, I have both doors open. It's midday. It's still about four or five degrees Celsius. Large wood stove. It is definitely comfortable. So later on this evening, what I plan on doing is basically I'm going to store all my firewood on one side of the stove so I'll be able to reach out but essentially what I'm going to do is just lounge in here with this mesh door wide open and just enjoy all that heat lofting in here it will be cold outside so I'll zip the doors shut but this stove will keep this tent rocking hot no problem I'll be able to listen to the sound of the ocean waves and the crackling fire right out here in the nice wilderness in the forest. So cheers guys. I'm going to chill out for a minute, enjoy my hot coffee, and then go collect some firewood.
All right, guys, firewood is collected and split down, all processed and stacked inside of the tent. With all that taken care of, it is getting closer to sunset. So I'm gonna do some cooking inside of the tent, but I wanna do my food prep outside. That way I'll be all finished up, cleaned up, and ready for sunset. So I'm gonna get Boomer his dog food ready here. And while I'm doing that, I'll explain what I brought. I did bring a steak as well as some sausages, some rice, and a little bit of Indian mix. So basically, it's still cold enough to bring meat out here, but those days are definitely numbered. So I figured why not bring big old steak, a couple sausages, Boomer and I could split that, and I'll get him started with his dog food. And have it all in the pan over the wood stove, cook it up, and like I said, just enjoy it right before sunset. So we'll get Boomer his dog food here. He can start on that, and I'm gonna start on some meat.
All right, guys, I'm halfway through supper and just finished my steak, shared it with Boomer. Absolutely incredible. So before too many people get alarmed, as it seems they always do when I use a cutting board and meat, um, the cutting board has two sides. So that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> um, so the steak was really, really good. And it's gonna load this wood stove up here. It's crackling, we got loads of heat rocking in here. What I've got inside of the pot is sausages with rice and some Italian seasoning. I do have some Indian style snacks right here, which have all kinds of spices on them, which are gonna be excellent mixed in there. And with the steak, what I did was garlic powder, black peppercorn and sea salt, and it was incredible. Just put it on the cutting board, slice it up, cooked medium rare, it was absolutely incredible. So I'm just gonna finish cooking up this rice and these sausages. And I think what I'm gonna do is lounge right here inside of the tent. So there is a bit of a sunset happening outside. So I'm gonna try and eat up and then maybe go have a little bit of a walk around, see what we can see here in the forest and then welcome in the night. So it's gonna be incredible. I'm definitely hungry and I wanna get all this done before dark.
All right, guys, supper's all done, everything cleaned up, hot drink on the go, and this is super relaxing. So I just went around the little edge of the forest just for a moment. The sunset, I can look out towards the open. It's not really happening yet. So we're getting a little later into the, the sunset timing as summer is approaching. Sunset's a little later, so still trying to adjust to that. But uh, I did go ahead and close this back door. There is a draft coming in and it's blowing all the hot air out of the tent. So with this door shut, it is super, super comfortable in here, I gotta say. So I think what I'm gonna do a little later on is I did bring two lights. I've got one up here. I'm gonna hang one over in this area and turn it on red and shut this off. That way the whole stove area, little porch area, will be illuminated with a red light. It's not gonna be super bright white. And I can just kind of lounge in here and enjoy the color of the fire, be able to see things and just kind of move around a little bit, probably watch a movie on my phone and uh, head to sleep shortly after that. But for now, I'm definitely going to sip on my hot drink, enjoy the crackling fire here and uh, just kind of take it all in. I do believe this is gonna be one of the last hot tent trips of the season. I know I say that every year and then we usually just squeeze three or four more in, but um, I have enough firewood for the evening and uh, that's usually a good sign that you're gonna be burning a stove late into the night that is still cold in the season to go hot tenting. So hopefully I didn't overdo it this time. It's, uh, it's all softwood. It's all pretty, um, it's not seasoned. It is still a little damp, but it's been drying out next to the stove, so it'll burn no problem. And then I do have a couple of logs way back here. I just left them in rounds. Those will dry out and I can toss those in really late tonight. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna chill out, enough talk, enjoy my drink and enjoy this fire. So cheers guys. All right guys, just about ready to zip the outside door shut. We've got the stove stoked up and burning really nice and steady. And it is definitely warm in here. So I'm being like lofted with heat right now. I think it's gonna work really, really well with just leaving the stove for a while and just continue burning one log at a time. Honestly, there's a crisp cold ocean breeze coming in through the door but the heat is lifting so high in here that it's just, it doesn't really matter. It's staying nice and warm, which is very unique. Uh, just where the location where I'm at, the wind, the trees, just kind of the forest, it just has a really interesting vibe of cold, but warm and cozy. It's hard to explain. But uh, what I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna drop these toggles, zip the door shut. I'm gonna leave the inner door wide open until I'm ready to go to sleep. And then what I'm gonna do is only zip the mesh. That way Boomer can't get out and accidentally brush up against the wood stove. He's usually very, very, very good. But every now and then his tail will just kind of brush up against it. It doesn't hurt him. It just smells horrible. Burnt hair, it's not the greatest thing. So he likes to basically lay next to the wood stove. So that's what he does. He'll probably come up here on the moss, lay over here, lay over here. He does his own thing, get his jacket and his sweater off and he'll just sprawl out. and he'll go to bed. So I'm going to be doing the same thing very shortly. I'm going to get this door shut, get my shoes off, get changed into some fresh clothes, jump in and start enjoying this night. So I'll catch up with you guys first thing in the morning for coffee. Good night, everybody.
Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful, crisp, and cold morning out here today. So I've got the wood stove cranked up right now. We're burning the last couple of pieces left over from last night, which means I did not overcut wood this time, which is very unique because usually I overprocess every time just to be sure. So Boomer's up. He is uh, basically kind of lounging in the bed, struggling to make his way outside of the tent. Uh, it's very warm in here, it's very cold outside, so it did get down to about negative one, negative two degrees last night. Not terribly cold. You guys can hear all the seagulls flying over right now. Uh, so it did get quite chilly last night. The outside of the tent was frosted up early this morning before I lit the wood stove. And uh, as you guys can see now, it's, it's all gone. So it's nice and warm right here. But uh, the ocean breeze coming through here this morning, it's not windy, but there's a light breeze coming through. It is crisp and cold and salty. You can smell it in the air. Seagulls flying around just makes for a really, really awesome vibe. The sunrise this morning was gorgeous. Looking out the window here, I didn't film it. I just sat back and enjoyed it. It was absolutely incredible. Purple, pinks, just cotton candy sky. So very, very cool. I'm going to sit back and enjoy my hot coffee this morning. It's going to be kind of a mellow day today. And uh, soak in the last little bit of the heat from the wood stove. Enjoy some time here with Boomer. And then it's going to be pack up time. So good morning, everybody. Coffee time.
All right, everybody, we've got everything totally packed up inside of the backpack and we're just about ready to get going. So as you guys can see behind us, a little stack of rocks that was underneath the wood stove. Everything else looks pretty natural. So the tent pitched there perfectly fine. Stove worked totally, no issues. And I gotta say it was definitely enjoyable. So this will probably be one of the last, if not very close to being the last hot tent episode of this season. We'll see what we can get away with with the temperatures. Last night was perfect, very, very nice and kind of mild. And this morning, frosty, but as you guys can see, it's starting to warm up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Like I said, backpack's all ready to go. It's time to get out of here. So peace out, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Yeah.